Okay, let me come clean. I already did one off camera before I made this video, but that's because I didn't want to screw up and do something silly and then become a laughing stock of the community. The truth is, is it was really easy, and I want you guys to see just how easy it was because I think after everything was said and done, it took me like 45 minutes to do. Yeah, Danley should be selling these conversion kits like crazy. They're flying off the shelf because there are no, I know that there, there's a lot of people out there that have these SH-96s that would definitely want that extra little boost to power. The eminents are coming out and these are going in. The big difference between the 96s and the 96HOs is this massive crossover. When you do the side-by-side -side comparison, they don't look too different. It looks like they have the connection for the switch, but other than that, everything kind of looks the same. All the cables are soldered onto the panel um, and then this connector that is already attached to the PCB board. Let me pull this out of the box. You gotta be really careful. Like any other crossover, I would imagine, right? <laughs> Another thing that they send you is this back panel. The 96s have this same panel on the back of the speaker. But what's different is it doesn't have this opening right here. Just keep it on the ground. Make sure you got a rug underneath it. Save yourself the, the struggle. You know, if you got a lift in the shop, put it on the table, sure, it makes it easy. But don't, don't sweat it. Just do it on the floor. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. There is 11 drivers in this one cabinet. There's four 15s, and these are the Fatal Pro 15s. And we've got uh, Danley Sound Labs uh, four inch drivers here for the mid range. And then we've got that Eminence high frequency driver right here. Oh, that's strange. I'm. I'm just noticed something was sticking to this speaker and I don't like it. What is this? What does this mean? Everything is here. Step number one, take pictures of everything. Then I'm going to take off all the cabling and then I'm gonna remove the crossover and then remove this back panel and kind of keep those things together. Um, and then everything will kind of be ready to be replaced. Now, before I put in my other crossover, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swap out my high frequency driver and, um, and then I'll start cabling everything up and then uh, I'll install the new panel and then we'll put this thing back together. Now, one thing I want to make sure everybody is really clear on, there looks like there's a lot of wiring here and it can look really confusing, but it's actually very simple. It's not that complex, okay? Um, that's why I tell you to take a picture of it because you're going to wire this thing up pretty much the same way that it was already wired up before. Don't get confused. Keep it stupid simple because it really, really is. 
Most importantly, what you're really wanting to focus on is your cabling. And you gotta make sure that you're putting your positive and negative on the correct terminals. But it's kind of hard to kind of mess that up because uh, you know your your negative is going to always be your black and red or your black and whatever color, and then your positive terminal is always going to be the solid color cable. So in this case, the red is the positive and the black is the negative. Pro tip. Don't pull on the cable when trying to pull these off of those leads. Now, it's really good to get something like this and pull from the connecting point, not the cable. Just always use the right tools for the right job. All right, so I got all the cables disconnected from the drivers. Now it's time to remove the crossover. You don't have to worry about losing all your screws because Danley actually provides you with replacement screws that you'll need um, just in the event maybe you don't have them. But yeah, don't worry about losing them. You do get replacements. Although if you lost it in the cabinet, that's not a good idea. Just, just hold on to it. Almost missed one. Booyah! We're halfway done. So before I install the new crossover, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this high frequency driver and go ahead and replace it with the new one. Um, this is kind of a bitch to get out because of the magnet. You got four nuts back there that you gotta loosen up and take out. All right, old high frequency is out. Let's put the new one in. Looking at the magnet, and I'm pulling off little metal shavings. Here's that new high frequency driver that we're getting ready to install. It attaches to this plate and then you've got the nuts that go on the opposite side that really get this thing fastened to it nice and tight. The Danley did not provide any lock washers, um, so apparently they don't think it's necessary. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I get it nice and tight and um, look for the best and not use lock washers, I guess. So I just got the new high frequency driver installed. Now it's time to install the new crossover. Before you start this project, make sure you go get some zip ties that have the screw down capability 
That's what, uh, that's what they use in these cabinets. So you wanna make sure you have some when you're doing this. All right, so something that you want to take into consideration is uh, plumbing up these mid speakers. Now, you've got two different feeds that come out. I think it's called a series, but I'm putting my negative on this one and my positive on this one. And then I'm gonna take the jumpers that they provide you and I'm going to do negative here to positive here, negative there positive here. All the cabling is done, the zip ties are secured to the cabinet. I'm ready to install the switch, get this plugged in, and then wrap this thing up. So that's it. My SH96s are now the high output versions. So I can't be happier with the conversion kit that Danley offers. It just makes this thing go so smooth. Uh, I was a little intimidated at first before I, I got the conversion kits from Danley. I was looking inside there and I was just thinking to myself, gosh, I wonder how difficult this is gonna be. But when I got the kits, and I, and I saw what was what was in them, it, it was just pretty self-explanatory. Now, it does not come with a wiring diagram uh, or any instructions, so I, I kind of wish Danley would have provided those just so that I was 100% confident going into this conversion. Um, but, you know, with a little bit of history of these and, and uh, previous experience working on 
these, uh, I, 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 it wasn't difficult at all. So I believe if, if you're an enthusiast like myself, uh, this is definitely something that you could do with confidence going into it. If I can do it, you guys definitely can. So uh, good luck to you, and um, I can't wait to hear them. I really can't.